Before I'd like to welcome everyone to the conference here in Rotterdam. We've got over 60 exhibitors, a number of presentations, demonstrations. We have a very large turnout today. We have a very large number of new technologies and I'm looking forward to two very exciting days. It's our objective to have robotics used on a very large scale, not just in the oil and gas industry, but through all sectors in society. We see robotics as part of our future. So in our area, we'd like to be at the forefront of new developments in technology. Robotics can bring a lot in terms of our operation to safely and cost-efficiently deliver the key services to our customers. This has been a laser tracking system. If you look at the barriers of going to scale, it's been lack of connecting things all the way through the supply chain. The big challenge, that's legislation because there are some big differences between the different countries, not only in Europe, but also in the rest of the world. We are still in the early phase, but we are getting there. We need good guidelines how to safely deploy technology and reap the benefits. I'm proud to present the first copy of new guidelines that we have developed at Sprint Robotics. Everybody understands the need, everybody understands the urgency, and we're working hard to make this a reality. So right now the arm is actually very compliant. Right, so it's stiff along the surface. This is what we call telerobotics. It's actually me through this robot. Every time I'm touching, I can feel it. The UV comes above it. So here it all comes in sync. This is Magneto. You know, fundamentally what we're trying to do is reduce risk, increase safety, and make more efficient decisions. It's a great day. We bring together producers with technology, with our research, and it's going great here. It's really important for us to partner with others, both to find new ideas, but also to talk to others in the industry and think about how we could collaborate together to move technology forward faster. So, what are we doing next in robotics? Oh, I'm very excited and I think a lot will happen uh, in the air, on the ground, as well as uh, underwater, and all three are of tremendous interest to us start using it, we need to learn how to implement these tools, we need to learn how to use them successfully, and we need to learn how to close the loop from gathering data to defining actions to make our industry safer and more efficient.